quick little video here on how you can clean a dirty air stone. So as you can see here, this one is not totally blocked, but I think it could be a little better. It's only got a few pores that are open on the bottom there and other places. and uh, It's aerating, but not a lot. You know, and it's just a cheap air pump hooked up to it. Uh, but you run into this problem when you use a heavy nutrient solution, like an organic quit bub. When you use an organic solution or uh, something that's that's not fully synthetic and then it will eventually clog up the pores on your airstone. Uh, this happens to me a lot. I use Flora Nova Grow and uh, it's a semi-organic heavy concentrated uh, nutrient and sometimes my airstones they clog up so this is one that I pulled out and it's actually been sitting out a couple days so it's dried out and you know that's helped it a little bit just drying it out but uh, I'm going to show you how I how I uh, go about cleaning these in a, in a really simple way. So I'll just unhook this here from the water, maybe. Hold on, let me set this down. Sorry. Oh man, that line is on there. Okay. So there's the, the stone. And all you do is drop it in this. Hydrogen peroxide. And if you look here, in this, uh, this is just straight hydrogen peroxide solution. You can see some, hey, quit it, bub, you're gonna spill that water. Man, my cat, I tell you. But, uh, see all the bubbles coming off that, it's actually cleaning all the pores in there. Uh, it's, uh, pro peroxide, you know, is, I've been told is a debreeder, and it will, eat away like dirt and stuff so I thought okay this is this could work so I've done this before and I've had kind of mixed results uh, a lot of it just depends on the air stone too because sometimes when you get an air stone they're just not that great so uh, what I do though when I'm using this peroxide is I'll let it soak in there for quite a while as long as possible really I mean I'll, but for this demonstration purposes I'll just I'll let it go until it stops bubbling and it could be I don't know an hour or half an hour I'm not real sure but I'll check back in once this start stops bubbling and we'll re hook it up to the air pump again and we'll see how well it cleans and uh, like I said I've had mixed results in the past but mostly that it, it, it does work pretty well so uh, we'll check back here in a little bit and we'll <laughs> and we'll see see how it goes all right guys I'll be back all right guys so I had the stone soaking in the hydrogen peroxide for about an hour uh, it stopped bubbling and um, I, I already hooked it up to the to the line here so I wouldn't have to put the camera down but I can actually I don't know if you can hear it on the camera probably but you can hear the air coming out a lot better than it was before and if I put it in here I think we have a, a definite improvement let me see here yeah yeah you can see it's opened up quite a bit uh, than it was before before there was only a couple spots on the bottom bubbling and that was just an hour in the peroxide you know so uh, with these systems with DWC systems and these smaller systems that I use uh, these here these are what I mainly use and I'm I'm actually working on uh, other units that are this size but that are white uh, but these are the stones I use in these and they've, they've served me well I've been growing with them for a long time and like I said, this video was to address the problem of the stones getting dirty, and this seems to be an effective way to clean it that doesn't take a long time. And uh, you could probably even get better results if you let it soak longer, though, I mean, and then let it actually dry out. But, you know, if you need something to replace quick, that's, that's a good way to do it. <clears throat> so, yeah, these are the systems that I sell. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I have some videos that 
that uh, demonstrate them in use. I have a basil grow log video, and I'm actually working on a, a ghost pepper video now that I've been growing for almost 144 days on that, and that's actually down there in the bottom tent. If I can sneak a peek here, I'll give you guys a little peek of what's going on. This is that plant, and it's grown in that little system. Hell, let's just open it up. This is off the subject of this video, but let me show you here. That's just, that's the video. I mean, that's the, the system there, the little 64 ounce system. And that's the plant coming out of this thing. Massive <laughs> ghost pepper. It's pretty impressive, really, that, that, you know, that little reservoir. Uh, they're very easy to manage. You know, you're not having to mix tons and tons of water at a time. You can mix a gallon of water and it'll last you a week just topping it off. But yeah, that, th my main purpose for making this video was to show you guys how to clean the air stones because I use, let's bounce around here again. This is what I use as a nutrient. And this is Floranova Grow from General Hydroponics, as you can see. And it is a semi-organic nutrient. It's a one part nutrient. This is the grow, so there's no mixing, you know, your micro and your bloom and all that. This is a one part and it does very, very well, but it will clog up your stones if you let them go for a good little while. They, they, they'll they get, they'll get uh, some build up on them. So this, this was one way that I found that works really well. And as you can see, if you think back to the beginning of this video, and you can definitely see the improvement here just by soaking it in the peroxide, just straight up peroxide no uh, no watering it down or anything so you before you put it back in your system you'd probably want to rinse it off real good and everything because it it can be harsh on your roots but if you even if maybe if you can just let it run in a what in a thing of water like this before actually putting it back in your system that probably work well too but yeah so these systems they work awesome I, uh, I sell these um, I have videos on them. I'm working on other videos, like I said, and I have a website you guys can check out if you're interested in anything like this. I'm also working on some smaller systems that are this size, but this same plastic here, this food grade uh, plastic container, it's safe. It's, it is food grade. All of them that I build are. And uh, yeah, my website's indoormicro.com and uh, yeah, if you guys want, go ahead, leave a comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers that I have currently. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how you clean up a dirty air stone. And it works pretty well. I think I'll end it on that. So, alright guys, peace out.